Genius. What up, though, man? It's James Borgato of God Over Genius. Tonight, man, I watched my old high school, man. I watched them play football, man, because they needed to qualify, you know, for the playoffs. So they needed this victory, man. Clinton High Arrows, man. They played Germantown. And uh, I just want to say, man, I'm not going to make this video long, man. I'm truly disgusted with how these referees are allowing the game to be played on this level, knowing that some of these kids are, you know, aspiring to be professional athletes or even go to college and make a name for themselves. Man, bro, it ain't even no real money on the line for y'all to be so biased and letting blatant mishaps happen, you know, as far as calls that you got to make. Um. What happened in the NBA is tri tripling down to football, man. Cats is faking injuries to slow down momentum. And it's super corny, dog. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, man. Like, every time Clinton was making um, some significant momentum on offense, about to secure a touchdown, Germantown, one specific player, man, I think he was number two or something, a DB Dude just kept acting like something was wrong with his leg and he'll be back in the game. They got to come up with something to stop this dog because that ain't how you need to be training and conditioning players to think that's how you got to move. You know what I'm saying? If, if the team beat you, they beat you, man. But you can't be out here faking injuries. For one, that's dangerous because, you know, according to the Bible, you reap what you sow and you're going to get hurt for real. And then secondly, it's just corny because after the like the fourth time, it's so obvious that's what y'all are doing. And it's not cool, you know. So I think, man, moving forward, man, they need to come up with a rule. Like if you get hurt or or you your injury slows down the game, you gotta sit out a quarter and then come back or something like that. They're gonna have to do something like that so cats can stop pretending like they hurt so they can like, you know, use it as a way to um bring in personnel, you know, like fresh bodies and slow the game down. Like I think they said Lane Kiffin started this strategy and it's starting to become like, you know, something that everybody doing. But y'all gotta stop that, man. Um I ain't saying that because Clinton lost. They probably still would have lost, but it might have been a closer game had um you know momentum hadn't have been slowed down right when they was entering the red zone each time. It was just goofy, man. Um, this isn't how y'all should be training kids. Um, when I say training, I mean like you shouldn't be conditioning them to think this is a move you got to pull because injuries really do happen. And when it happens, it sucks because you want to see the best players out there playing. But that shouldn't be as that shouldn't be used as a way to try to win a game. Like that's not how sports supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? This is just super frustrating to watch. It's already sad enough these dudes don't even be knowing how to play the game the right way. Um, and they not playing, you know, the game fundamentally sound. That's already another story in itself. But now y'all up here faking injuries, you know what I'm saying, to try to win games like you James Harden or something and you flopping. Nasty work, man. <laughs> If you made this far to the video, man, I want to say thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Hit the notification bell to the YouTube channel, man. I'm almost at my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to the God Level Genius YouTube channel. I am James Forgato, and as always, be God Level. The genius is God in you. God Level. Genius. Genius.